Hi everyone! Welcome to NMEC Kids Worship. We're so glad you're here to worship the Lord with us. Solomon wrestled with finding meaning in life. Job struggled to find meaning in his suffering. The meaning that they were both looking for is found in Jesus. Jesus gives us the reason and ability to praise God even when life is confusing or difficult. We begin our new series on wisdom literature with the story Solomon thought about life. Before we begin, here are three simple rules to follow. I can listen, participate, learn. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together on this wonderful Sunday morning. What a joy it is to worship you with our teachers and friends. May you be honored in our praises today. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Let's sing out loud and worship the Lord together. Let us recite our Lord's Prayer in Chinese. Gun di ti tiang e pe, guan di e mia zue xiang, li e gok gang ding, li e zi yi di jia di dui ding, qin xiu di ti ding. So diu yang e bi niu, gi na di qiu su gun, xia bian gun e zue, qin xiu gun ya xia bian diak zue gun e lang. Bo di to gun du diu qi tam, Amen. Big picture question. Why can we trust God? Everything God does is for His glory and our good. Our key passage is found in Psalm 100 verse 4. For the Lord is good, and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. 
Our lives can sometimes seem like a puzzle. But do you know that just like each piece of a puzzle serves a purpose, life has purpose only with God? Sometimes we may not understand a purpose and have a hard time trusting God, but we know that God is good and trustworthy. Our story for today talks about the different questions King Solomon asked about life. Let's learn more about this in our story. Solomon thought about life. Solomon was the king of Israel, and he was very wise. God gave Solomon wisdom, and Solomon shared his wisdom with others. He made wise choices and spent a lot of time thinking about life. Sometimes, Solomon thought that life did not make sense. Solomon wrote down his thoughts about life, and we can read them in the book of Ecclesiastes. Solomon thought about what life would be like if God did not exist. These are some of the words King Solomon wrote. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Apart from God, everything is meaningless. Nothing has meaning. People work so hard on earth, but what do they get? Apart from God, does anyone have anything to show for their hard work? People are born and then they die. The world is still the same. Everything is temporary. Nothing lasts forever. The sun comes up and goes down. It comes up again and then goes down again, right back to where it started. The wind blows to the south and then to the north. The wind blows around and around. All of the rivers flow into the ocean, but the ocean never gets full. So the rivers keep flowing. There is always more work to do. Apart from God, everything is so tiring. We have nothing to say, and our eyes and ears can never see or hear enough. We keep looking and we keep listening, but we are not satisfied. Only God truly satisfies. If something happens, it has happened before. If something has been done, it will be done again. Apart from God, nothing on earth is new. There is nothing new under the sun. No one can say, "Look, this is new," because it was already there before we were even born. Apart from God, no one remembers the people who were born long ago, and even the people who haven't been born yet will not be remembered by the people who were born after them. They will be forgotten too. Solomon thought about all of these things, and he said, "God knows everything." And will judge the good and the bad. Respect and obey God. This is what life is all about. Apart from God, life does not make sense. God created everything, and He gives everything a purpose. Jesus gives us purpose for living. Jesus came so that we might live for Him and have a full, meaningful life. So, what did we learn from our lesson today? We learned that life has a purpose only with God. God is our Creator, and He gives everything a purpose. Our purpose is to give glory to God by loving and obeying Him. We can only love and obey Him because of what Jesus did for us. Let us close in prayer. Dear God, we are learning that life only has purpose with you. We are also learning that everything you do is for your glory, and you are good. That can be hard for us to remember when life gets scary, sad, or really hard. Will you help us to trust you more? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's learn more about this lesson in our class activities today.